Hello, I'm Doug, and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. And today you have found me at day 12 of this whiskey advent calendar from Drinks by the Dram. So these are mostly malts and world whiskeys from a company in the UK called Drinks by the Dram. I had to order it from a retailer called Muazo in the UK. So I am tasting all these things blind to test myself and to see what I've learned in the last year or two. In my whiskey tasting journey, and I'm looking now for day 12. And I found it, that's this little hole right here. I'm gonna pull out the bottle and not look at the label as I pour it into this glass. So I can taste and smell and uh, give you a few notes and see if I can guess what it is or even what kind of whiskey it is or what country it comes from. We will see. So I haven't seen the label yet and now it's in this little lens hood over here. Almost where you can't see it. I'll put this back. I have found this a real interesting year for the other whiskey YouTubers who are doing some real interesting calendars. So I know that uh, Bourbon Blind is doing a Drinks by the Dram Bourbon Advent Calendar. And Scott and Bart on Scotch Test Dummies are doing the Secret Spirits Advent Calendar. And they are not doing theirs blind. Uh, Kyle and Aaron are doing their Bourbon Calendar blind. And who else? Uh, on It's Bourbon Night, Chad and Sarah are doing blind tastings of the Lexington Bourbon Society calendar. So that one's been pretty interesting. Uh, they get fooled. Uh, Sarah's pretty good at uh, knowing what she's tasting. And uh, it's interesting. And who else? Bourbon Insane. Uh, no. Bourbon Insane. And Bourbon Junkies are doing calendars of their own devising. And those are pretty interesting to go through as well. So I'll have links to all those down below. But right now, we're worried about what's in this class. And what is it? Is it a malt? Is it a rye? I don't think so. Is it a bourbon? Is it from some other part of the world? Let's find out. Ooh, malty. I'm thinking scotch. Pretty malty without a lot of other clues. I'm going to have to really dissect this one. Not a lot of... Not a lot of spice or alcohol. No real sherry finishing clues here to speak of. And certainly no smoke or peat. So this is one of those non-disclosing scotch whiskeys i think although lots of malts from around the world could smell this way <sighs> yep i've had this five or ten times so far i'm thinking malt for sure And uh, just a modest ABV of 40 or 43 percent for my nose, which is not a very good tester. And not a lot of clues. It might, it's light and space side ish. So fruity, light, light fruits. Highlander, space side, not a lot. I don't get anything marini. My nose might not tell me much. And certainly not the. Uh, Isla or Smoky. So I think we're going to have to go into the taste now. Oh wow, that's different. That is not very scotchy. Ah man, it's, it's, it's not even malty. There's a buttery, there's a weird buttery note way up front in the middle. It's big. It's some kind of weird fruit or buttery note that I'm not familiar with. That, that's bizarre. I 
Okay, this is going to be interesting. This has some other kind of grain in it. It's matured in something really strange, some wood that I don't know. This has a huge major note that is totally unfamiliar to me. So now I really feel like I'm on the spot. After I said all that space sign and Highland stuff, I don't think this is a scotch. I don't think it's the kind of oak or wood that I'm used to tasting whiskey from. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. It might be, uh, there's no malt notes. And still it doesn't taste like a typical grain whiskey. It's usually distilled from corn or wheat and has some sweetness and some graininess to it. I don't know what to think about this. So ABV is fairly modest. I'd still say 40, 43 on the ABV. There's not a lot of sweetness. It's not a fruitiness. It's not a, wow, that is odd. It's a very constricted, restricted, confined sweetness. That's not butter. It's not syrupy. It's not fruity. Oh. Total mystery. Might be in some sort of wine cask. There's a vague fruitiness to it. White grapes, kiwi, apple or pear. Some light vague fruit that's hard to identify. Might be involved. Maybe a little apple peel on the nose. Maybe a hint of woodiness, but what, what kind of wood? I don't, I don't know. Maybe some kind of oak or European oak, but it is the lightest little touch or a kiss of oak. And I might be imagining that. So this is the oddest one so far in this whole calendar on, on day 12 here. So a couple drops of water. See if it changes anything. There's a sweetness. I can't really say it's deep or rich or complex. It's a simple set of notes and maybe only two or three. And it's, <laughs> I'm not sure I've had them. It's not complex. It's not rich and deep. I don't think it's real old. The water didn't do much to the nose. I'd say just a hint or a trace of oak, old, leather, wood. But it, mm -mm, it's not like an old scotch with lots of rich non-food type notes. There, there's a bit of an oakiness to it. That seems to be coming out more and more. But what the grain is, what the malt is, what the, what the spirit is, is a mystery. Wow, some other kind of grain. I am not going to get this. I am far from knowing any answers. I'd say it's young. I'd say it's European. If it's a malt, it's one of those weird European things where their process is so different. It just doesn't connect with Scotch or any of the uh, things that pay homage to Scotch, like uh, Japanese malts or Taiwanese malts or Indian malts. And it's not like any of those things. So I, I have no idea. It's a whiskey from a grain or a, a mash bill. I don't know. Is my best guess. And I may as well go look now. Here we go. Ah. Oh. 
McMyra Swedish Single Malt Whiskey. Apple Blum, 46% ABV. Single Malt Whiskey. So there you go. They have done something that's so different. I didn't recognize a exclusively malted barley spirit. Apple Blum kind of implies some sort of odd wood or apple treatment of the malt once it's distilled. So I will look this up and leave a couple uh, notes or descriptions down in the description below because this requires a little more research to know what this is. So as I usually say, please like the video if you enjoy what you're seeing on the advent calendar or any of the other reviews on this channel. Leave a comment down below, leave some questions, subscribe to the channel and click that bell to get notified when the new videos come out, usually Mondays and Thursdays. But here in December, it's every day up until the 24th. So this is an odd one, and I'll try to leave a few notes down below about what it is and a little more information. But uh, we might have the same thing two or three more times before we're done here. So come back tomorrow, and Merry Christmas!